and then they would claim to be like a real man. They're like, yeah, I'm a real man. I do this, I do that, I blah, blah, blah. But you can't even plan a date? Something so simple, you can't even plan a date? Like, how, what? What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I go by the Miami Ali. You already know every time you see me on your screen, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If this is your first time seeing me on your screen, I do a lot of vlogging, travel vlogs, spend the days, spend the day with me. If you're into fashion as well, make sure you like up that video. If you're into lifestyle, if you're into fitness, make sure you like up the video and also subscribe. Y'all. I'm new to YouTube, I'm just gonna put that out there. So I'm trying to pump out as much content as I possibly can. So definitely support your girl, support your girl. You know, I'm up and coming, support your girl, support me. All right, y'all, so in my last video, I said that I was gonna, you know, go more in depth of how it is dating in 2020. I am an individual who is dating in 2020, so I feel like I can kind of shed light on what's been going on <laughs> during this year when it comes to dating in particularly, um, because I've experienced it, my friends have experienced it, we see it in society. So I thought that I'll give my opinion on how dating in 2020 has been. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about, you know, their experiences dating in 2020, how it's been, how crazy it's been. But I think that we can all agree that 20, dating in 2020 is very difficult like i want to say that loudly for people in the back dating in 2020 y'all is very very difficult it's different than how it used to be five years ago four years ago i would say in the last like maybe two years we've been seeing like this weird shift in the dating scene so we are gonna get more in depth into that in this video so definitely make sure to stay around stick around watch the full video y'all and definitely comment down below like how do you feel about dating in 2020 like what 2022 what is your perspective now people are working longer hours you guys um it's more of a competition in the dating scene now i mean there always was like a slight competition but it wasn't as saturated as it is now. Now we're seeing a lot more people go to online dating. So I don't know if you ever, you know, did online dating, but on online dating is online dating. It makes it easier for you to get to know a, a certain amount of people in a certain amount of time. So I think that also plays a part on why dating has been so hard nowadays, because when you're dating and you're using a lot of online apps, because remember y'all, back in 2020, we were all stuck. There was nothing to do. So everybody was going to like all these online apps. And I think people are still using them to this day. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I'm be transparent. I have used dating apps in the past. I definitely have. And I noticed that a lot of people are like, oh, don't use dating apps. Like there's a lot of weirdos on there. Y'all, there's weirdos everywhere if you ask me. Even if I meet somebody in public, they're still going to be weird. Like they're still going to be who they are, right? So a lot of times like dating online plays a huge part now in 2022 only because everybody is on these dating sites. Like it's so heavily saturated. So men and women like myself, we have a we have a pool of people that we can choose choose from. And sometimes it can be hard, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes it can be very, very hard having to pick and choose. Um, who you want to talk to, who you want to devote your time to, who you want to give your number to, um, who you even want to entertain. Because remember, like dating, you're constantly saying the same thing over and over again to new people. And sometimes that can get, like getting, getting to know someone can be very hard, like, and 22 has not, 2022 has not made it easy, y'all. So let, let's go more in depth on uh, day day 22 to day day 22 how the experience has been for me i'm gonna start with for me and i'm also gonna talk about how day in 22 has been for like everybody i think i can sum up really what everybody's been talking about what my friends been talking about what we've been talking about what society's been saying and i think we all can kind of agree on how it's been all right y'all we back so okay let's talk about my personal dating experience i can honestly say i've been dating for the last i would say two years like actually been consistently dating meaning actually making an effort to get to know someone or multiple people i have not been in a committed serious relationship in a while 
And a lot of people are like, dang, like, you, you've been in a, you haven't been in a relationship in a while. Yeah, because I'm single by choice. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, women say that a lot. People say that a lot, like, oh, I'm single by choice. No, when I say I'm single by choice, y'all, I am literally single by choice because the dating scene is so crazy. Remember, um, when you're getting to know someone, and from a male's perspective, when you're getting to know somebody and you're trying to court them, which men don't even court anymore anyway, but when you're getting to know somebody, remember y'all, this is kind of like a competition. Like you have to put your best foot forward, right? You have to present yourself as the best you you can possibly be. Not by lying and not by being conniving or not by misleading somebody, but being your organic self, which a lot of men in 2022 don't have. Let me put a disclaimer out there. This video is not to bash men because men are going through the same thing as well as women. It's just a little bit different, and we're gonna talk about that too. My experience with dating in 2020 has been, I've been bumping into a lot of men who are very inconsistent. Like, they were inconsistent back in the day, but this type of inconsistency is just different. It's weird. Perfect example. Like, when you're texting someone, it's like a flow that people stick to, right? You get to know somebody, you give them their number, you're talking about where you're born, where you're from, X, Y, and Z, and it's pretty consistent. Then after a while, I don't know if it's me or if I just, or it's just like, I just get uninterested, but a man can say one thing and it just turns me off. Like we can be having a great conversation and it's been consistent for like two days, three days, four days. And then all of a sudden, boom, they say something and I'm like, er, like, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like wait a minute baby like that's not that's not how the flow has been going so far like you completely like switching the switching the gear and didn't even tell me you didn't even give me a pre-warning you just switching it up and then let's just say that you know you got to know somebody for a long time now you guys are like really dating and stuff like that and of course the things that they used to do they're no longer doing that kind of that kind of can be like they probably like lied about you know who they really are or they probably misled you and stuff like that but the inconsistencies that I'm seeing now are more of, when you're talking to like multiple women, I think people forget like who's who or who has this type of personality. Because I noticed that when I used to, when I was talking to a guy, his personality, I guess, was different talking to me than it might have been to talking to another woman. And then I think in the midst of talking to multiple people, the personality that they were presented to that person, they were kind of presented to me and then I'm kind of like weirded out. I'm like, wait a minute, this is not how you were acting before. So another example of my experience dating men is, of course I said inconsistency and I wanted to give another example of inconsistent. Like inconsistent, the definition to me means somebody who's unreliable, right? Like you can plan something with this person or set up something with this person and then they just completely like disregard all of it. Or they're so unreliable, you can't count on them to do certain things. I'm sorry y'all, when I'm dating a man or I, or I want, or I, what the qualities I look for in a man is I look for a consistency. Like I wanna see that you're doing the same thing. Like that's part of your personality. Like don't just do it because you wanna show off or don't just do it just to mislead somebody, but that's actually a part of your lifestyle, y'all. It's like men nowadays in 2022 are so lazy. Like they don't want to do nothing. Like I'm like, dang, I remember like when I didn't even have to think. Like I remember guys, like when I was dating guys, like they would be like, oh, let's go here. I want to take you here. I want to take you there. Y'all, I came across this guy who literally, he's the one that asked me out on a date. He was like, oh, I want to take you out. I want to take you on a date. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, cause I'm used to, you know, men being like, okay, let's go on a date. They plan it. They let me know where we going. As a woman, if you're asking me out on a date, I don't want to have to plan everything. Like, I don't want to have to pick a spot. Like, I don't want to have to Google. I don't want to have to do all that. Like, just tell me the time and location and I'm going to show up, you know, being my best self as me. He hit me with the, oh, can you look for places? Um, I don't really know a lot of places in Miami. Like, can you look for places? Oh, can you look for like nice restaurants and stuff like that? And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute, nigga. Like, you asking me out on a date. Like, I should not have to do all the work. All I need to do is just show up. You know, and I found that to be weird because I'm like, all you have to do is Google because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Google because I don't know all the spots in Miami. Like I know spots, but I don't know every single spot. Like, come on now. Like, and I felt like that was just, that's just weird. And I find that in a lot of men, like they just want women to do everything, y'all. Like everything. Of course the roles have 
completely changed. Like we're seeing a lot more men taking on female roles and we're, we're seeing a lot more women taking on men roles. And then they will claim to be like a real man. They're like, yeah, I'm a real man. I do this, I do that, blah, blah, blah. But you can't even plan a date? Something so simple, you can't even plan a date? Like how, what? But you say that you're a real man. Like real men to me are reliable. Like they're consistent. Like they're going to, I shouldn't even have to say anything. You already got the date in my text message. We meeting here, X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. Here is the food menu. Here is this, here is that. So that's another example of inconsistency. Oh y'all, I think I should give these like, I should give these like numbers. So the inconsistency was number one. Number two. Dating in 2022, it is so hard to find people on the same, that think the same as you, that are on that same wavelength, that you can vibe with, that you can connect with. Um, I find with me that it's been, I wouldn't say it's been hard, it's been challenging. Because the where, the where I'm at in my life and where I'm at and how I think is so untraditional, it's not conditioned. Like I'm on a whole nother wavelength, right? I'm on a whole nother frequency. So trying to find somebody who can match that or even be close to that or open-minded to different things has been like challenging. Um, an example could be um, how, how they view life, right? I view life a particular way and then they view, view life another way, which is nothing wrong because opposites can attract. But I feel like nowadays in 2022 when all this stuff is going on, inflation, cost of living, this and that, this and that, I feel like you should have a goal. You should have something that you want to accomplish. Um, I've been bumping into men who, I guess, think that a woman needs to do literally everything. Like, when I say literally everything, like literally everything. Cook, clean, work, um, give, it to, give it to them frequently. Um, like, do all this stuff, take care of the kids, take care of the house. Um, like plan trips like completely do everything what i look for i look for like somebody who can match me like i feel like that's what a relationship is let's keep it real a relationship is a partnership like let's just let's just put it on the table a relationship is a partnership so if you can't accept that and you want somebody to give 80 and you give 20 or you want somebody to give 100 and you give zero that's not really that's not really consistent that's not really cool in my opinion that's not cool at all you gonna be single forever. But yeah, y'all, like I've been bumping into these guys that like just are all over the place. Like you got a job, but yet you want somebody to pay your bills or you have a job, but yet you want the woman like, oh, for a perfect example, talking to this guy and I told him like, you know, I just started YouTube, I'm doing my whole YouTube thing. Um, I'm really into social media, X, Y, and Z. He was like, oh that's you know that's really cool i've been trying to get into it and me i always promote people to do what they're passionate about like if you're passionate about starting your youtube start it like we can start it together if you're passionate about singing doing music working out whatever the case may be do it i'm a huge supporter on following your passion right of course it has to make sense so he's like oh i want to start youtube and i'm like okay cool start youtube do your thing do this you know you know, um, I'm just getting started. So if you need help with anything, let me know. He was like, oh, but will you be able to do everything for me? And I'm like, what do you mean everything? He was like, I mean everything. Like, I don't even know what camera to buy. I don't even know what laptop to get. Like, I don't even know how YouTube works. Like, I don't even know, um, I don't even know like how to, I'm like, I'm not even really big on social media like that. And I'm like, you're not really big on social media, but yet you want to start a YouTube. And yet you asking me, to do all these services, render all these services for free, and I don't even know you like that. I mean, granted, we're, we're trying to get to know each other, but at the same time, it's like men are being so demanding to the point where it's like, nigga, we're not even in a relationship yet. Like, we, it's only, it's only been uh, two days. I'm like, if you want somebody to render services for, you better go Google somebody, you better go hire somebody, unless you wanna hire me, that's a whole different story but yeah y'all i've been fine like it's like trying to find somebody that thinks the same as you is very hard even when it comes to um how you view relationships even when it comes to how you view marriage even when it comes to how if you're spiritual or if you're religious um even when it comes to finances even when it comes to like entrepreneurship 
you know, even when it comes to um, the whole mindset of like how the government and stuff like that, or, you know, how your mind is, like if you want to have kids or not, like, I feel like with everybody, when it comes to men and women, and I'm not being biased or anything, like I said in the beginning, I'm just giving my perspective from as a woman, um, I just feel that with men, it's been very hard to connect with them and find that particular individual who kind of thinks the same, thinks the same as you, or at least close to it. A lot of women are settling, and that's why I'm single because I'm one of those individuals. I'm like, I refuse to settle, baby. I'm sorry, I cannot settle. I'd rather date somebody. <laughs> um, if we end up having kids, we end up having kids. But as far as a serious relationship and settling down with somebody that I do not want to settle down with. I feel like I'm gonna be frustrated and miserable and the relationship is gonna be so crazy. It's gonna to be toxic. I'm not gonna be interested because I'm a, I'm a Scorpio. Well, I'm a, I'm a Libra Scorpio. My, my birthday is like right when Scorpio season starts. What do you mean by that? So another reason why dating in my experience has been hard, and I'm just gonna sum it up because I know a lot of women go through this, is technology, y'all. Like social media and technology has completely wiped out the face of the earth on people being normal. I'm just gonna keep it real. On um, people being normal in the in their organic self. I can I can't even count or remember how many men I've talked to in the last two years or well dating, I would say not even talk to or dating because I don't even think it gets far as us talking because I'm so picky sometimes. But getting to know that where social media has completely took over their life. Like I'm into social media. I love social media. I, I mean you know I'm starting my YouTube of course but I don't let it like dictate my life. Like I'm not about to lie on social media about nothing. Y'all, men are really out here lying and posing on social media like crazy. We already know that. But they out here posing like crazy. Um, a lot of people, you know, if you don't have an Instagram, they don't even want to talk to you. If you don't have a faith, you don't have any type of social, I don't even have, I don't have Facebook, I don't have Facebook, I have Instagram, TikTok. If you're not popping on Instagram and TikTok, a lot of these men don't even want to talk to you. And I'm not saying that I'm not on Instagram and TikTok, I am. Am I popping? Am I lit? Am I, am I an influencer? Am I big, big, big? No, not yet. But it's like, they really go off of social media sometimes and then, don't get me wrong, y'all. There's, I didn't even know this existed until I started dating, like even recently up until now. Like niggas really just want to, I've won, well, I said niggas, guys like really just love social media so much that they rather like DM you, which is nothing wrong. Like the first thing somebody asked me when they did, oh, you got Instagram, you got this, you got that. I'm like, man, what if I don't want to give you my social media yet? Like, what if you turn out to be weird? Like, what if you won't stop me? Like, why do I need to give you my social media? Yes, y'all, sometimes I'd be like, I don't have social media, but they, they know I do because I look like I do. Another thing with social media um, and how it is with dating in 2022 is that once you give out your social media to a person, it's like they be going through your pictures and look at who likes, look at who comments. And if it's like a guy or whatever, they go and they look at that person. Like it's, it's been such a distraction with social media. It makes it hard to really get to know somebody because it's like if you don't have this certain persona on social media, a lot of men or even it goes with women, too. For men, they go through the same thing they not even gonna wanna talk to you like that. Like they not even gonna wanna give you the time of the day. I'm not gonna lie, I was guilty of it one time. And the only reason why I was guilty of it one time is because when I met this guy on an online dating site, like I said, I was on an online dating site before. And he he was like, oh, I do music, I'm a rapper, I'm this, I'm that. So I'm like, okay, I heard that before, cool, what else? And then he was like, um you know check out my music and this and that and the first thing i asked for y'all i'm like what's your instagram like do you have social media handles he's like yeah i got instagram y'all when i went to his instagram tell me why <laughs> he only had like two thousand and something followers it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up all his content on his page was just a mess it looked like somebody who was too created all his like flyers took all his pictures, everything was blurry. It looked like it came from an Android phone. Like, I ain't talking about them new galaxies. I'm talking about an Android phone from like 19, 1975 or something like that. I don't even know. It just looked so poorly like done. And I'm like, dang, like, you look good. That's, that's number one. 
But you say to your rapper, you do all this stuff and all that and all that, but your social media is not even given that. You know, and how they, how he was hyping himself up, it's like you would think, you know, he at least decent, like he's someone doing something, right? Child, he wasn't doing nothing. That was the only time where I really focused on social media and I was like, nah, I was so unattractive because I'm like, you painted this picture for one. And then you actually see what's going on in your social media. Like your reality is the complete opposite. I was turned off by that. I, I think I get turned off easily too. It could be by like a conversation. Like it don't even have to be nothing physical. It could be by a conversation. I know I notice a lot of women are like that too. Like we can get turned off easily by a simple text, by a simple DM, by a simple word. And I don't think it's our fault. I just think that it comes from men just not, everything is being rushed. And I don't even think I'm gonna do bullet points anymore, y'all, because we just gonna talk. We just gonna have a dialogue. I feel like everything now is just being rushed, 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 rushed. Like I wanna, nobody wants to get to know anybody no more. They just wanna jump in a relationship or they wanna say they in a relationship just to say they in a relationship or they wanna say that they married just to say that they married. No. You know, and I feel like that's what's going on too. Like everybody is rushing, rushing, rushing. Like the moment you meet somebody, they acting like you in a relationship or they want y'all to date immediately. Like y'all, like my expectations when I'm dating somebody is the same expectation I'm expecting from you. Like if I'm dating you, like I'm not your boyfriend, I'm not, you're not my boyfriend, I'm not your girlfriend, I'm not gonna expect so much from you right away. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember there's the guys that are expecting so much from me and asking me questions as if we're in a relationship. Oh, what you doing? Where are you going? Who you with? Um, can you FaceTime me this time? Can you FaceTime me that time? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not, we're not even in a relationship. And let's not, and let, let me not forget how these guys 2022 don't have no respect for time. They don't have no respect for time. They don't have no, they have zero respect for time, but they want you to respect daytime. Example, talking to this guy. And my thing is, is that I understand we all have jobs. We're all doing stuff throughout the day and stuff like that. But when you always want to FaceTime me or call me, at midnight or between 11:30 and midnight or even one o'clock or even two o'clock i find that to be very disrespectful and a lot of women find that to be very disrespectful not even me even my friends we talk about this so i know i'm not the only one that's going through this i don't understand why men always choose the inappropriate times to talk to people you we have 24 hours in a day i mean come on i can see if we were on the phone at 8 p.m., we had such a great conversation. We vibe and, and we don't even know it's two o'clock a.m. I've been in conversations like that and we didn't even know. And we were like, oh my gosh, it's like almost four o'clock in the morning. We gotta get some sleep. I've been in conversations like that. But I noticed in 2022, like niggas just want you to be on daytime. And it's always kind of been like that, but now it's like even crazier. Like it's to the point where like they will even keep calling. And I'm like, okay, if I didn't answer the first time, that means that I'm asleep, for one, which I was asleep. For two, if I'm up, I don't want to talk to you at that time. Like, I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to have me time. I don't want to talk to you at that time. Me and you was not even boyfriend and girlfriend. We're not even there yet. And you over here blowing me up, asking me what I'm doing. Nigga, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> That's what I be wanting to say. I be wanting to be like, what do you think I'm doing at 12? At, it's a... It's, it's a weekday and it's midnight. What do you think I'm doing? But yeah, y'all, they don't respect time. They really don't. But then if if, it, if the roles if the roles were to change and you were to do it to them, they'll be highly disrespected. Like, even if you were like to try to call in the middle of them like working out or call them in the middle of them hanging out with their friends or call them in the middle. Like, what if I was to be that type of person? It, it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I, and I also noticed that like, it's like guys automatically want to just be in a, I don't know if it's like, because remember the roles have really changed y'all. The roles have definitely changed. But I do notice a lot of men are like rushing now to be in a relationship. I don't know if it's because of like finances. I don't know if it's because of um, people just want to hurry up and, you know, get in a relationship so they can find people to help them financially or put our funds together to help each other financially. But I'm noticing that y'all like, they be wanting to wipe you up fast. Like they be wanting to be with you real quick and in a hurry. I noticed that and I think it does, like I think our society and the uh, uh, economically has made that to where men just like, they just they just wanna have that extra resource, y'all. If anything happened, they could be like, they could call up, they be like, babe, 
but um yeah i noticed that too but and i haven't had that ex well i kind of had that experience where they they didn't wear a brush at first relationship but they were acting like we were in one like questioning me about what i'm doing where i'm going there ain't nothing wrong with asking what i'm doing but when it goes too far like like guys if we're in a relationship i don't like that like don't be bugging me like um i'm a grown woman like i'm gonna do whatever i want to do at the end of the day so also another reason why I think dating in 2022 is a lot more complicated than like five, 10 years ago, is also because a lot of people don't really know what they want. You know, they might think they know what they want, but they really don't know what they want. Um, you see that a lot of people are looking for a long-term relationship. Some people are looking for short-term. Some people are looking just to date. Some people are looking just for somebody to have fun with. People are looking for travel buddies. People are looking for people to do social media with. People are looking for people to fake relationships, you know, for money. So it's like, <laughs> and I know like I laughed about that, but I found out that people are actually doing that. And when I found out that somebody was actually doing that, I was like, I mean, get your, if you gotta do that to get your bag, I can't, I'm, I don't even hate, I don't even hate. Cause I mean, it is what it is, right? If you wanna say on the internet that you are a NBA professional basketball player, you can say that you're an NBA, uh, NBA professional basketball player. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, how? Because then you're gonna ask what team they play with, then you're gonna ask for pictures, y'all. People have literally, <laughs> and it, it didn't happen to me, it happened to one of my friends, um, and she was dating, well, quote unquote, she thought she was dating the NBA basketball player, right? But it's funny because they actually did play basketball. Here's the crazy part, they actually did play basketball, but they played basketball overseas. And they only played in the NBA, I think, Summer League or something like that. And I think after that, they only played in the NBA for like one year or or they were on the practice team. I forgot what it was. But, however, they weren't like an actual NBA player, like a professional NBA player, like somebody who actually signs a contract, like a two-year, four-year contract, and, you know, is on the roster. So being an NBA player on a roster is different than saying that you play for NBA Summer League or saying that you were on the practice team. If you make it to the roster, boom, you official. So this person, you know, was hyping themselves up and making them seem that they were, they played for a basketball team, right? So you can literally be whoever you want to be. Say you do this, say you're an entrepreneur, say you own a business. Let's not get into when these, when these guys be saying that they own businesses, y'all. And they come to find out they really don't own a real business. Like, they might be starting up their business or they might be trying to have a business, but you don't really have a business. Like, just because you have an LLC or you have whatever type of document doesn't mean that you really have a legit business. And I had to find that out too through one of my friends who went through that. But yeah, y'all, it's just so much perpetrating that can go on. It's so much lying that's going on. And let me make it clear, like, it has always been kind of hard to date, like, in the past because of, you know, whatever reasons. But I think it's just more complicated, more harder now with all of the distractions that we had, you know. And a lot of people are going through, like, the same things, the same similarities. So, yeah, y'all, I don't really know what to say about dating in 2022 anymore. I feel that there is potential to find the right person for you i think it's definitely out there i just feel like it takes longer now like it's taking more time to actually find that person and then you yourself as a woman and even for men you know you have to really know yourself and know what you want like there's women out there who i'm friends with who are who just want to date like they don't want no strings attached they don't want to get married they don't want to um, have kids at that moment or maybe they already have kids and they don't want any more kids at that moment <laughs> y'all but i don't know like it's so hard to like really like put a finger on what's really wrong in dating in 2022 because it's so much but i don't think there's just one thing and like i was saying i do feel like there is potential to meet that person that is right for you but i feel like it just it takes time like it's going to take a lot of time it's going to take so much longer than it did before and then you're going to know what you you have to know as a woman there's women out there because i don't think dating is hard for me because i don't know what i want i know what i want but it's like finding that other person that i that can match me or that I know that I want to, you know, be with and devote time to because at the end of the day, I care about my time. Like, I, I'm not trying to just entertain somebody. Of course, that's what we want. We all want a relationship. We all want to be happy and, you know, etc. 
and you know eventually get married if that's something that you want to do but however you have to know what you want to do for yourself you want to you have to know what you want and then when you present it to that person of course they either have to you know be in sync with you want to be in a long-term relationship want to be in a short-term relationship want a date not want a date whatever you want because yeah y'all there's actually there's a lot of women that don't want a relationship and i i was that person where at some point I didn't really want a relationship because I'm like, it was just so much going on, like so much cheating, so much lying, and it's still going on. But it was like, it was like to the point where it's just like, it was annoying. It was real annoying, annoying. And I'm hearing like my friends, what they're going through, learning from their experiences, <clears throat> because I never really had a bad, bad, bad experience when it comes to relationships. I've always heard of like these bad experiences. I know people who went through things and I'm like, dang, like, you know, that really teaches me to be aware when I am dating somebody. But now y'all, yes, there was another comment that happened that um, I was watching Sweet, I was watching Carisha Please when she was interviewing Sweetie, which was yesterday, right? And it's funny because Carisha mentioned something that me and my friends, we talk about all the time. And I even had these, these conversations with like my male friends, even like my family members, like my male cousins, my male uncles, well, my uncles, <laughs> my male uncles, what? And we talk about this all the time because like I said, the roles have definitely shifted. You can see it happening. Like it's already happened. Like you can see. So they were talking about how women nowadays are ruthless and how women cheat more than men. Which I find that to be so true, y'all. Like, I never thought growing up women cheated more than men. But then I had to really think about it and really think about how strategic we are and how, not that we're liars or anything, but we, we just know how to, like, keep ourselves put together and still do things that we want to do. You know, and I don't even know, is it, I don't even know, like, yeah, it's cheating, but we, we know how to hide things. We know how to get away with things. We know how to make a man seem like they're the only one and we still, they would never know. You know, men on the other hand, they get caught slipping all the time. And I don't, and I hate to say that us women, we cheat more than men, but it is true. It's just because we get away with it. That's the only reason. It's because we get away with it and men will never expect it. Um, on the other hand, um, about women being ruthless. Yes, women, we are ruthless now. We are so ruthless now, but it's not our fault. And I was just, I was telling my friend this too. I'm like, it's not our fault why we're ruthless. Because we put up with so much from, from men decades after decades after decades. I feel like now men are finally feeling what they've been doing to us for so long, to women for so long. I'm hearing men getting dogged out. I'm hearing men getting like really like just hurt like and i usually don't hear a lot of men talking about they've been hurt but i'm talking about real hurt like crying and stuff and i'm like what they like yeah be it's so hard to find a girl nowadays like all these girls is doing this doing that and i'm like i'm thinking in my head i'm like i really don't feel bad is that bad i really don't feel bad i mean i feel bad to an extent like if a woman it doesn't have integrity if she's not you know, a woman of integrity and loyal to the point where she's really like, you know, abusing you or taking advantage of you or dogging you out, whatever the case may be, or, you know, manip manipulating you. I mean, I've heard so many th different things, but it's like, I feel bad, but I only feel bad to an extent because I feel like it's a lot from what men have been doing for women for so long. Like, let's just keep it real. Like, this is what men have been doing with women for so long. And a lot of men complain about women cheating and this and that, but I'm like, <laughs> I really don't know what to tell them sometimes. I kid you not. I really don't know what to tell them. But yeah, y'all, that that pretty much sums up why I feel dating in 2020 has been so complicated and so hard, y'all. Of course, there's amongst other things out there. And I would definitely, if you're watching this video to this point, definitely share with me, you know, what challenges have you been going through? Um, you know, what have you seen? What have you experienced? Because I've heard some crazy things now. Like, I've heard some outrageous, crazy things and man let me tell you but i hope you guys definitely enjoyed this little video about how bad dating and not <laughs> dating is not that bad let me get real it's not that bad i mean it's bad but it can be better thank you guys for watching i go by the miami ali once again make sure you guys like comment and subscribe definitely if you're into lifestyle if you're into vlogs if you're into travel if you're into fitness if you're into fashion if you're into music uh, uh, uh. 
Hey, yes, I definitely have more content that's coming, uh, various ranges of content that's coming between those niches. So if you're into that, make sure you guys definitely subscribe. Make sure you guys definitely like and comment, y'all. Please comment down below. Please like. Let's get into this algorithm, y'all. I need to get into this algorithm. So I thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.